Welcome back to Straight Up Rousey. Some of y'all have asked um, about my salt and pepper shaker collection, so I'm going to feature some of those, kind of tell you the background on them and some of my favorite ones and where they came from. I actually started collecting salt and pepper shakers back with my grandmother years and years ago, except she used to have the, um, the crystal ones that were open on the top and every place setting had a salt one and a pepper one and when you were ready to put on your plate you would actually just take pinches of them so it's a little different than the ones that I have now um, I still do have those ones of my grandmother's however they are packed up at my mother's house so let's get started okay so here is my big shelf um, this actually came from John and he set it up for me so I have all of those on top I think I have about maybe a little over 50 right now um, one of my favorite ones is this TV up here this actually came from Indiana at an old antique store um, it's got the salt and pepper right there in the top so that's kind of one of my cooler ones that I like and of course you can see I put that um, popcorn salt one salt and pepper shakers right next to it and probably my second one is going to be these little apple heads I love those I love the faces on them they're kind of a little sad looking but I like them and then my strawberry ones John actually picked those out for me he really liked those so I got those ones from him um Oh yeah, my uh, the piggy ones and the bathing suits. Those are really cute. Probably another one of my favorite sets. And the toes. Gotta love those. The painted red toenails on them. Love those. And then my Coca-Cola one here actually came from Larry at Welcome Back Collectibles. And these actually come out and are the salt and pepper shakers. So that one's kind of cool. I didn't have one like that before. And of course the phone with the telephone book. Those are kind of neat looking. The next ones are the pipes. A lot of people thought when I first posted the pictures of these that they were hammers, but they're not. They're actually like um, cigar pipes or whatever. Kind of reminded me of my grandpa a little bit. That's all he used to ever smoke was a pipe. And as you can see, I've got this other big shelf that's almost all the way down to the bottom filled. I think I've got one empty shelf left there. After that, don't know really what I'm going to do. Um, these up here, these trains up here, I think are my son's favorite. Um, he's into the trains and stuff like that. I had actually found one, which I should have got, and it was a um, lawnmower. But I ended up, I don't even know for what reason, did not get those. But, um, oh, these came from a flea market, and it's a naked girl. Um, up leaning up over a barrel. I think we got those at Penn Springs, I believe. I had found those. Um, I don't know. I got just got some elephants going on. The John Deere at the barn, and I'm not really sure what that other thing is, but they're kind of cool looking. So um, the Indiana ones here actually came from John's mother, who gave me those, since that's where I'm from. And let's see. Oh, yeah. The beer ones we just got the other day at the Route 52 flea market. And my roosters, of course. Gotta love those. Teddy bears. I got, I think, three or four sets of the teddy bears. Um, these are the wooden ones. The other ones, I think, are ceramic. But these are kind of cool. And, oh, yeah. My outhouses. Gotta love those. Um... They got the blue for the for the men and the pink for the women. And I guess I don't know. Oh, the doggy and the fire hydrant. Those are always cool looking. Hadn't seen those before. Apples and my cowboy boots. Love those ones. The monkey see, monkey don't do. And then these, I got a couple sets of these. These are like um thimbles. So those are really neat. And oh yeah, these are tombstone salt and pepper ones. I think these came from Mexico, I believe. But 
most of my finds have come from flea markets. Um, a few antique stores, but um, much more, I find much more at the flea markets instead, so. And probably my most favorite find, I actually found these at a yard sale, are the Humpty Dumpty ones. Um, those actually came with like a tea pitcher or something with it. So that right there is probably my most favorite set right there are my Humpty Dumpty ones. Collection on my salt and pepper shakers. Showed you some of my favorite ones. Like I said, most of my finds come from flea markets. Rather than antique stores are a little bit cheaper to find and buy at a flea market versus an antique store. But anyways, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. Ask me some questions. Other than that, um, I will put a link at the bottom for my boys, Movie John and Ace's Movie. So if you haven't already subbed to them, please do so. Other than that, I'm going to use John's words. And until next time.